Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on January 20th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do. Having a quick look at space weather right away. 40, the last 48 hours on the sun as we did have another M-class solar flare. Watch on the right-hand side. This was an area that I noted yesterday's video. As well, plasma filament erecting from the southeastern limb. Earth-facing sunspot. Last 48 hours incoming. Don't mind the flashy glitch there. That was SDO. Plasma filaments erecting on the right. Sunspot cresting on the left. Closer look here at the M-Class solar flare. Boom. And we were instantly affected by this solar flare. Radio blackout. Watch was in effect for the next 24 hours. I think that's probably about the fourth M-Class flare that we've had in the past couple months. Looking at multi-spectrum here. All of the latest events. Two M-Class solar flares the last two days as well looking at this pretty active region southwest cresting limb we do have an earth facing coronal hole that has developed and it is in an earth facing direction right now our solar wind speeds have since died out since the last coronal hole wind stream looking at the iswab space prediction spiral you can see this flare shot out right at venus and as well, Stereo B and Earth will get a piece of the action. As well, Mercury, Venus, Stereo B. Looking at Lasco 2 and 3 here at the event. Closer look, Lasco 2. That's quite a sizable eruption, everybody. Stay aware and prepared. Solar Cycle 25 definitely giving us a show so far. And as NASA predicted, it will be an accelerated cycle, Solar Cycle 25. Having a look at a real-time solar wind, we're sitting at about 450 kilometers per second. After being highly elevated over 650 kilometers per second the last couple of days, incoming coronal hole wind stream. And now we're going to be expecting some space weather coming from that solar flare, which will be hitting us on the 24th. So three to four days from now, that's when we will be affected. But we're also going to be affected by the coronal hole wind stream. Looking at the solar proton flux, as you can see, it jumped up into an S1 storm. Highest frequency affected. Here is our absor absorption map. A lot of Canada. Going to see some northern lights tonight. Schumann resonance for today. A power of 7. Still a very comfortable buzz across the planet right now. Quality of 6. Let's have a look at earthquakes for the past 24 hours as it's been pretty busy. We just now jumped up over to 330 earthquakes across the USGS map. We're going to start out here in the active Pacific Plate region. As earlier today, a 5.4 rung out in Port Olroy, Vanuatu. As well, a 5.4 here in Indonesia. 4.6 there, Indonesia as well. All of that activity just suddenly stopped. The deep earthquakes there. And then we had a very deep earthquake here in Lavuka, Fiji. 4.4 magnitude at a 627 kilometer depth. So that's the deepest earthquake we've had in quite some time in the region, especially at that depth. 5.1 as well, Kermadec Islands. 4.5 up in here, Germ, Afghanistan, 205 kilometer depth. As well, a 4.6 there in Iran, 10 kilometer depth. 5.0 earthquake here south of Madagascar, southwest Indian Ridge, 10 kilometer depth. Quite an atmospheric river just above that. 
as well as South Sandwich Islands. Seeing some activity today. Largest to report today is the 5.6 and as well a 4.9 South Sandwich Islands region. Michael Volcano. Just saying. Looking over the South American plate. 4.0 in Tocopila, Chile. As well a 4.6 here. Oxapampa, Peru. 21 kilometer depth. 4.9 here in Nicaragua. 37 kilometer depth as well a 5.0 in Mexico. And Fuego has been puffing lots of eruptions the last few days. Many updates coming from Fuego. Activity has ceased through the Dominican Republic, largest 3.4. And then looking through the United States, Gypsum, Kansas reporting a 2.5. As well, Coyonosa, Texas, 3.1 and a 2.8. Largest earthquake today here in the region, 3.7. Mina, Nevada at a 9 kilometer depth. And through California, largest through the region was a 3.0, Valley Vista, California. And seismicity is increasing through the region up into the Pacific Northwest. Please watch as we're seeing minor activity now start to go through Washington and as well Stanley, Idaho. Looking at the activity spreading across California. No major swarms to talk about. Notable earthquake here atop Rainier. And as well, a notable earthquake, Granite Falls. An explosion was reported two kilometers east northeast of Granite Falls. And every so often, you see that. And if you see to the right there, there's a couple puffs of smoke. There are some wildfires spreading through Washington at the moment. So, heads up, stay aware, prepared, and stay tuned. To daily events worldwide, keeping humanity aware and prepared. Carry on here with Hawaii as no earthquakes to report through the region, but the lava lake is quite alive. Quick look there the last 24 hours. And then looking here through the region of the Aleutian Islands into Alaska, I had noted in yesterday's video, watch for an uptick in seismicity. And sure enough, there it is right up into Cold Bay, Alaska with a 3.4. Quiet through Kamchatka, Japan, Philippines plate, way too quiet through there. Going to be expecting a big one here, especially after that very deep earthquake reported, Fiji, 627 kilometer depth. Let's have a quick glance at the last seven days across the world. Notable uptick here through Alaska. As well, look at all of the deep earthquakes. Those are all the elevated rings across the planet right now. South America, Fiji. Increasing activity into the Antarctic plate. As well, Eurasia here. Heads up, everybody, and just have a plan. That's what this is all about. No fear here. Something's coming, though. A very big earthquake. We can expect it in the next 24 hours. So please share this video with your friends and family from around the world. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent volcanoes. Sabancaya in Peru. Sangay in Ecuador. Avalanche to report in northern B.C., Nevada de Ruas in Colombia, Fuego, Guatemala, as I said, many eruptions today, Fuego, Hunga Tonga Hunga, as well, Reventador in Ecuador, Nevada de Chile in Colombia, Suez and Ajima, Japan, and we're looking at about 75 active hazards around the world, ERA in Japan, Turiabla, Costa Rica, Yasser, Vanuatu, 50 volcanoes erupting around the world and about a dozen being updated today. Quick look at satellite imagery across both oceans, Pacific and Atlantic. And as well, noting here the constant low pressure system that is spinning over the Australian continent. 
as all of the ash cloud just missed you guys and is heading along the equator towards Reunion Island, Madagascar, westward towards Africa. But you can see the different levels of clouds here. Now let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Media Worth and as well daily events worldwide. Starting out here, home base, Ontario, minus 13, 14 today. But very dry. High pressure ridge has built in. Cold temperatures and as well, no moisture. Look for flurries possible Sunday. But then Monday into Tuesday through Ontario. Watch for a big system to come through. Alberta Clipper. Most likely bring about 5 centimeters, maybe 10 centimeters of snow. As well, watching this big system here. Just miss Newfoundland. Well, the center of it anyway. It looks like it's just going to graze it. But in this five-day forecast, watch this low-pressure system travel from Florida all the way to Norway in the five-day forecast following the long atmospheric river. As well, watch in Monday, Tuesday. Watch for a gulf system here to develop. And that will be a very big nor'easter in the long range racing up the eastern seaboard of the Atlantic Ocean. Watching very warm temperatures pump up into Alberta this week. Sunday, you could see six degrees, parts of Grand Prairie, but watch for that not to last long. High pressure ridge scooting through, but big high pressure ridge over the Pacific Northwest is still thwarting a lot of equatorial moisture into BC. Overlooking the Atlantic, strong high pressure ridge for Western Europe. Keeping things dry. And then we've got that grinding low moving southward into Turkey this week. That will be an extreme weather event for them as through the higher elevations, you're probably going to be seeing about 300 centimeters of snowfall. Still forecasting a low here through Pakistan. No major weather systems, Southeast Asia. But noting here, all of the big organized systems through the Central Pacific heading into Alaska. Daily evaporation rains this week. Indonesia, Malaysia, and as well, tropical system heading into Merida, Philippines. We'll have to see what that will be named as well. Looking over Australia, where it seems to be there is a large low trapped over the continent. And this is something that I had forecasted for our future daily rains there low pressure system heading to new zealand as well we've got that big low east of fiji no major weather systems heading towards hawaii this week strong high pressure ridge right off the coastline connected to the pacific northwest overlooking south america same thing as australia there seems to be a low pressure system locked up here right in Argentina. So watch for daily rains to pop up extreme at times. Africa, watch for this cyclone in the long range forecast here, Monday, Tuesday, heading into Zimbabwe, Mozambique, but across Madagascar. Boy, oh boy, this is going to be an extreme weather event for African people. Heads up, watch for flash floods and as well, extreme weather winds cyclone for africa we're going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern pointing out the major lows spinning across our planet right now more specifically the massive low over norway and as well the big low central pacific thanks for watching today stay aware prepared stay young and have fun and get your daily due bye bye video please hit that like button subscribe share with your friends and family from across the world